What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona now coming to you from Mesa, Arizona, the largest suburb in America. Let's do it. That's right. Mesa is the largest suburb in America with a population of 510,000 people. It's actually larger in the city core than Miami, Minneapolis, New Orleans, Cleveland, Tampa, St. Louis, Pittsburgh, and many more. So it is a big suburb. In this city tour, we're gonna to show you exactly what's going on out here in Mesa. We've got the Tech Corridor. We're gonna show you around downtown Mesa, also Eastmark and some of the other communities, Superstition Springs. There will be timestamps below so you guys can bounce around the video if you need to. Also, there are some other videos with tours like the one we just did for Gilbert. We also did one for Glendale. We're gonna have some more coming up soon also. So check the links below. Mesa's interesting because they are building the second largest airport out here at Mesa Gateway. Also considered one of the best places for jobs in Phoenix Metro. And that's what we're gonna highlight here. Because Mesa continues to grow, expect a lot of construction in this video. So we're out here in Eastmark, which is essentially East Mesa. And this area is being built up known as the Tech Corridor, where they have a lot of data centers and chip plants. You can see one of them right here. Some of the data centers that are out here are the Meta Mesa Data Center. That's actually Facebook's data center, which is a five building campus with over 2.5 million square feet of data and admin space. Also, we've heard rumors that Apple has a data center out here and so does Google. So data centers out here are places that you could possibly find a job. This area specifically is right next to Eastmark. That is south of the US 60 and then east of the 202 and north of the 24. And that area right there is known as the Tech Corridor. And the community of Eastmark is actually considered the top master plan community in Arizona and in the top 10 across the nation. So what we're gonna do now is show you what Eastmark, the community looks like with the housing. They have a variety of different housing, single family homes, apartments. They also have condominiums, all mixed variety housing with several different clubhouses like this one that we're headed to now called The Mark. So out here in Eastmark, all you gotta do is show up at the clubhouse and scan that link and it'll tell you all about the homes. Along with a pool and a park, they also have a farm and a restaurant with an amphitheater right here at the mark. Now you may be wondering why they're covered up. Well, growing crops out here in Phoenix is difficult because in the winter we actually get frosty nights, especially in the months of December, January, and February. And then in the summertime, as you all know, we get excruciatingly hot temperatures, which make it difficult to grow certain crops. The only thing that really grows out here is going to be squash and tomatoes in the summertime, maybe some jalapenos or peppers. So you can see they've got the lake here. Over here they have the farm, the urban farm, and then they have the orange monster right there. Let's go see what's up with that. The orange monster is a fun area for kids to play. It's like a jungle gym here. So anyways, after exploring the new area of Eastmark here and all of the construction, which we'll show you a little bit more of, we're gonna start heading over towards West Mesa, which is the old part of Mesa. Totally different world out here, out in Eastmark than it is in West Mesa, which is actually where downtown Mesa is. And actually what we're driving past right now is called Nellis Auction. This is a place where you register, place bids, and then win, and then you come down here and pick it up. Everything from rugs to toys, electronics, cooking appliances, cars, you name it, they got it out here. And as we keep cruising west into Mesa down Main Street here, you'll notice the buildings go from brand new to super old. And actually, there are a lot of 55 and older retirement communities around here, mobile home parks places like Leisure World, and much more. A lot of snowbirds come down from the north, places like Canada, Montana, Colorado even, and actually settle down here in the area where they have the RV parks and mobile home parks. This area of Mesa actually feels like it's frozen in time in like the 70s or 80s. Not much has changed. They still have the old motels around here, the old RV parks, 
the old mobile home parks. It's almost like the people here just want to keep it stuck in the 80s. I actually bought a condo out here in Mesa, and for those of you who are wondering what the average median home price is out here, it's around $415,000 for a house. As you cruise down Main Street, once you get to Dobson Road, that's where Sycamore Station is, which is actually the very first stop on the Valley Metro light rail system. And Main Street really is full of different places to get RVs or camping gear. So if you're one of those type of people looking for a variety of selection, head to Main Street in Mesa, basically from Dobson all the way to, who knows, Gilbert Road. And where we're coming up to now is actually known as Pioneer Park, which is essentially Main Street and Mesa Drive. Right here is going to be the area known as Downtown Mesa. Nearby here, you're going to have a Museum of Natural History. You're also going to have the light rail running right through here, along with some other key areas that you should take note of, like the Mesa, Arizona Temple. They also have the Mesa Performing Arts Center, and the downtown area really starts right here on Dr. Martin Luther King Street, also known as Center Street and Main. And as we continue to go down Main Street here in downtown Mesa, I wanna remind you guys to check our other city tours down in the links below in the description. We'll put Gilbert and Glendale as well as a Tempe tour for you guys to check out. I'll also add one more for Chandler because Chandler's nearby here. And instead of just driving right through Main Street, we're actually gonna get out, park the car, check it out and see what's going on down here. So what do you guys say we do some walking around? But first we need to find a parking spot and Mesa's not exactly known for parking downtown. So we're here at the Mesa Museum of Natural Science. It's a really cool place to learn about dinosaurs for kids, but these right here are the autosaurs. Let's go around to the front to the entrance. And the price of admission is $13 for adults, $7 for children, and it's actually $2 if you have an EBT card. And here we are in downtown Mesa. We're gonna walk around and show you what's going on around three o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. And because I know you're curious what the weather is like outside, obviously not a cloud in the sky, nothing but blue skies here in late January. Current high right now, 61 degrees. A little bit brisk, but really nice out. Say we go into Lost Dutchman Coffee and get a coffee. I got a low sugar drink here, but the, uh, the big kick in town is the Gold Rush. So Mesa has several different historic neighborhoods just north of downtown. This one here is known as West 2nd Street Historic District. Mesa is also home to some spring training like the Chicago Cubs and the Oakland Athletics. All right, so we've just shown you around downtown Mesa, told you about the spring training baseball, which is actually coming up here in March, and it only really exists during the month of March. We're gonna now head down to a major shopping center right off the US 60 called Superstition Springs, so we'll head over there now. Uh, but first, let's head a little bit north and drive by the Oakland Athletics training facility and their stadium here at Ho'okam. So 
So here we are out at Superstition Springs Mall. And for those of you who love movies, they got the picture show right here with the reclining sofas. I go to this store called Celestial and I'm looking for a quartz to put over the top of my water jug to see if it helps ionize it. So I got this crystal piece that I'm gonna put on top of the water and it's gonna help ionize the water. We'll see, I heard about this. Superstition Springs Mall is just like any other major mall in Phoenix or around the country, really. Well, we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory. How about that? Now, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of chain corporate restaurants, but I must say this Cheesecake Factory does give out some really good tasty food, which I have to say is a compliment to them. And some things to know about Mesa, it actually has some of the lowest property taxes in all of the country. Uh, get used to using your air conditioner at least four to five months out of the year. Uh, you can actually do quite a bit of wandering in the desert around the Usury Mountains, towards the Superstitions, and even towards the Red Mountain down at Salt River. Also, it is considered a bicycle-friendly city. Although, I would highly recommend having a car because, yeah, it's big. So what do you guys say we show you around Pioneer Park now? Pioneer Park is a public park. It does have a tree house, a 15 foot water wall, splash pad. It's open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with a 500 foot suspension bridge and 9,000 square foot of playground area. Also, there is a decommissioned locomotive right here on site. Also, right across the way from Pioneer Park across Main Street is the LDS Temple of Mesa. This is quite an impressive temple for those of you who are LDS. If you're not LDS, I don't believe you can even go inside here. Mesa is considered one of the best places to raise a family. It's more affordable than Gilbert or Chandler. It's also home to some of the best state football teams and basketball and baseball teams. So really a great place to raise families. Also a great place to retire, just depending on what you're here for. But Mesa all around, really one of the more affordable areas in Phoenix, but also especially in Southeast Phoenix. This is what ends up attracting a lot of people who are considered snowbirds. So in the winter months, you're going to have more people on the roads in Mesa than you will in the summer month. And now for my final thoughts on Mesa, I would say if you're looking for a tech job, consider moving to Eastmark. I would say Eastmark in general is a very nice place to be. It's modern. Central Mesa is going to be more affordable, but it's also going to have higher crime. I like the area around Greenfield Road, Southern, across the way to US 60. It's basically right next to Val Vista Lakes. Really Mesa is a nice place to live. It's affordable. It's a big, huge suburb, so keep that in mind. And with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Watch some more of these other videos from across Arizona. One for Gilbert and another one for Chandler. Click the link.